Pluto, the weirdest planet in the solar system. And like the Roman god for which he was named, Pluto dwells in perpetual darkness and isolation. Known to the Greeks as Hades, Pluto, god of the underworld, ruled the dead with such unrelenting fierceness that people, as well as gods, adverted saying his name out loud for fear of attracting his attention. He lived in total darkness. and had absolute possession over the souls who entered into his fatal domain. Because Pluto is on the furthest reaches of the solar system, very little is known about this cold, 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 cold world. But there are a couple of things that we do know uh, about Pluto. For instance, Pluto on average orbits the Sun at 3.6 billion miles, but its orbit is so disturbing that the other planets are all like, whoa dude, what's that all about? In fact, for about 30 years out of its orbit, the Pygmy mutant planet is closer to the Sun than Neptune is. We also know that such precious little light reaches the planet that a sunrise on fleeky undersized Pluto would be about as bright as a 25 watt light bulb on the horizon of a beautiful summer morning, perhaps in the mountains or something. And that's not all we know about the little stinker. We also know Pluto is not alone. Sharon, Pluto's known satellite, is named after the erotic ferryman, I mean demonic ferryman, who carried the dead across the river Styx into Hades underwear. World, Hades underworld. Half the size of Pluto, Sharon is the largest moon in the entire solar system. And by largest, I mean with respect to its primary planet, obviously, which in Sharon's case is actually pretty small. Some scientists insist that the two bodies are in fact a double planet, or planets. Still others debate whether creepy stunted Pluto should even be considered a planet at all, arguing that it's really just a large asteroid. Or a comet! A new mission to visit Pluto is in the making. But scientists must work fast for Pluto has been moving away from us with each passing second. And as it gets further, and further, and further, and further away, its atmosphere begins to freeze out, making it harder to peer into and take pictures of retarded planet Pluto. The window of opportunity to launch the mission is in January 2006 which is now. If it is not launched by then, the next opportunity will not be until the 23rd century. And that's all I've got. Mm. That's it really, yeah. That's all you have written here. Stay tuned next month when these celestial orbs present Uranus. Is that right? Uranus? Yeah. Sounds a little rude. Okay. How do I get out of here? Uh, Why is this locked on the inside? Can I get a cup of coffee? A little bit of vodka in it. No. Where did they go? Where did everybody go? Am I supposed to stay here until next month? Hello?